Welcome cyber security enthusiast. Today we are diving deep into the intricate world of malware analysis tools in the ever evolving landscape of digital threats. Understanding the tools at our disposal is crucial for safeguarding our systems. Whether you are a seasoned cybersecurity professional or just beginning your journey into the world of malware analysis. This video is your gateway to the essential tools that empower us to dissect, understand and combat malicious software. So buckle up as we explore the arsenal of malware analysis tools and learn how these digital detectives work to keep our digital spaces secure. If you want to upskill yourself, master cybersecurity skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various cybersecurity programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and post-graduation certifications in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like MIT, IIT Kanpur, EC Council and many more. Through our courses you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security and over a dozen others. And that's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier product and security companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a cyber security role as a fresher or move on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a cyber security program that fits your experience and areas of interest. And with that, we'll start with the malware analysis tools. And the first on the list is P Studio. So P Studio is an efficient tool for preliminary analysis of Windows executables. It also facilitates quick extraction of suspicious artifacts. And if we talk about hashes and virus total detections, it provides malware hashes and virus total detections upon loading a binary. And it unveils a list of strings with considerations for packed samples. And if we talk about the entropy analysis for packed malware, it measures the entropy level to determine if the malware is packed. And higher entropy indicates a greater likelihood of packing, obscuring true functionality. And talking about insightful imports tab, imports tab reveals functionality imported by the malware and the useful for predicting potential malware behavior based on imported APIs. So this was about the P Studio tool. And the second on the list is Process Hacker. So Process Hacker offers a comprehensive view of running processes on a device and it is essential for observing new process creation and identifying evasion tactics. And talking about memory inspection for malware analysis, it allows inspection of process memory for strings post malware detonation and it extracts valuable information such as IP addresses, domains and user agents. And talking about identification of malicious activities, it detects malware attempts to hide by copying and renaming itself. And it provides a clear depiction of how malware conceals its presence on disk. And then we have real-time process monitoring. So this tool enables real-time monitoring of processes, aiding in the identification of malicious activities and patterns. So this was about the second tool, Process Hacker. And moving on to the third tool, that is Process Monitor. And PROCMON, like it's a short form or acronym for Process Monitor. So it's a robust Microsoft tool that records real-time file system activity including process creations and registry changes and it is vital for complementing process hacker it captures processes swiftly created and terminated allowing for in-depth analysis and talking about its functionality it offers pre-built filters and a process tree facilitating rapid identification of created processes execution locations and parent or child dependencies and the particular advantages in analyzing malicious documents, revealing hidden PowerShell processes and encoded commands. And if we talk about the use cases, Emotet, that is ideal for dissecting attacks like Emotet where malicious Word documents execute macros, leading to C2 infrastructure communication and payload downloads. And it captures the entire sequence from opening the Word document to the execution of concealed processes. And if we talk about the challenge, the event volume so it records over 1 lakh events in seconds 
or 100,000 events in seconds, posing a challenge to analysts. And it filters mitigate risk, but potential event misses are addressed by exporting data to the next tool. And if we talk about the export capability, it enables data export as a CSV, ensuring seamless integration with subsequent analysis tools. And the next on the list is Proctor. This is the fourth malware analysis tools. And talking about the functionality, so Proctor complements Procmore, automating the creation of graphical representations from captured data. And it streamlines analysis by generating visual diagrams from uploaded Procmon CSV files. And talking about simplicity in navigation, so it eliminates the need for creating complex filters and sifting through vast event logs. And it provides a user friendly visual representation of malware activity. And integration with Wireshark, it enhances Procmon data by allowing the ingestion of Wireshark PCAP files, providing a more comprehensive view of network interactions. And talking about streamlined analysis, it simplifies the navigation of complex data sets, making it accessible to analysts without extensive filtering expertise. And talking about the next, that is efficient enrichment. It enriches Procmon data by incorporating additional information from tools like Wireshark, contributing to a more detailed analysis of malware behavior. So this was about the Proctor tool. Now moving to the next tool, that is Autoruns. So Autoruns, it's a Microsoft tool that unveils all installed software set to launch during a device startup. And the malware, despite its ability to hide, needs to run and establish a persistent mechanism for survival after a reboot. And talking about the persistent techniques, so malware achieves persistence through techniques like creating scheduled tasks or specific run keys within the registry. And Autoruns, when run in a virtual machine, after malware execution identifies and highlights new persistent software and the employee technique, making it invaluable for malware analysis. And talking about significance, so Autoruns aids in uncovering the methods malware uses to maintain a foothold on a system and the tool's ability to detect and showcase the persistence of mechanisms of newly introduced software contributes significantly to the analysis of malware behavior. So this was about the Fifth tool that is Autoruns and now moving to the next tool that is Fiddler. Utilizing Fiddler for malware analysis. Malware frequently utilizes HTTP or HTTPS to communicate with its command and control servers and download additional malicious components or exfiltrate data. So Fiddler's functionality as a web proxy captures and analyzes this traffic, offering insights into the malware's communication patterns. And we talk about analyzing malicious documents. So Fiddler proves instrumental in analyzing malicious documents, employing macros to download a harmful payload. And in the presented example, Fiddler recorded a malicious Word document attempting to download Emotet from multiple websites, providing a clear view of the domains hard coded into the document. And talking about domain identification. For a malware analyst, Fiddler serves as a powerful tool to identify domains hard-coded in malicious documents. And the captured traffic illustrates attempts by the malware to download from various websites, offering a comprehensive view of the malware's propagation and potential evasion strategies. And now coming on the seventh tool and the last tool that is Wireshark. So Wireshark serves as the primary tool for capturing and analyzing network traffic offering deep packet inspection for various protocols and layers beyond the scope of HTTP or HTTPS traffic typically handled by web proxies like Fiddler. And the tool excels in providing a comprehensive view of network activities, allowing for the extraction of files from packet captures that may have been downloaded by malware during its operation. And the Wireshark's versatility lies in the capability to conduct in-depth analysis across multiple protocols making it an essential tool for malware analysts seeking a holistic understanding of network interactions. So this was all for this tutorial. And as we conclude our exploration of malware analysis tools, remember that staying ahead in the cybersecurity game requires continuous learning and adaption. These tools are the shields in our digital armor, helping us decipher the language of malware and fortify our defenses. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe if you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Description to know more.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.